What's good everybody, this is Sankal Chauhan and I welcome you all on my YouTube channel. In this video, we will actually discuss about one of the most confused topic when new students in computer science daily come up. They are kind of very much confused about what exactly is front-end development and what exactly is a back-end development. Not only we will dig more into front-end development and back-end development, we will also discuss about what are the different technologies which, which are used for front-end development, what are the different types of technologies which are actually used for back-end development and who is a full stack developer right so without wasting much time let's get started with the video so whenever we visit a website the first and the foremost thing that we come up with is the interface right and this interface is something which is called as the ui in developer language now ui is basically stands for user interface and ux stands for user experience now in order to make any website very much successful both of these technologies are really really important right if you do not really have a great user experience and user interface then people are not just gonna come back to your website right? along with a website being beautiful it should also function in a great way right so that's where the back end really comes up now starting off with the front end development what exactly is a front end development right now whenever you visit a website the first and the foremost thing that you uh, generally see that's what i said like ui and ux now that is the part that actually comes in the category of front-end development. Now this is purely focused on improving a lot of user engagement, improving uh, the user experience and user interface of the particular kind of a website. Like for example, if you visit on my website at uh, thelostfinder.in, now you will find that now it's not a completely coded by me because when I made that website, I was not really that good with the code. So I purchased a domain and a hosting. So generally in these kind of websites, you can actually play with a lot of front-end technology, front-end development because this is something which is kind of very uh, interesting for you guys also because I have customized it a lot. Like it, it is something like whatever I have got as in my website as a template for something which is designed by somebody else that is who was definitely a front-end developer and uh, just making some changes in the template is something that I have got as so that I can put up my content on that particular website. So this is how the front end really works, right? So uh, front end, all the technologies that are all the things that you actually see on a website, like for uh, example, the, all the images and all the sidebars that you are seeing right here, all the nav bars is what we call it as a front end development, right? Now, apart from that, the different types of technologies which are actually used for front end development can be categorized majorly or broadly in three categories. The first kind of a language which is called as the HTML which stands for hypertext markup language now this is considered as one of the skeleton of uh, any sort of website we cannot really imagine any website without HTML because that's just not possible right now the next and the most important uh, I would say a language basically it's not a language but it's a styling sheet now the next important styling sheet is called as cascade styling sheet which is the CSS of a website which is specifically used to add styles in HTML web pages. If HTML is the skeleton of a website then CSS is something which adds style to it or it adds like a beauty to the uh, website right. Now the next very important thing that comes in that plays a very big role in front-end development is basically a language which can also be used in software development and is very much trending at this point of time and this is called as JavaScript. Now, this, at this point of time, many students can really get confused between what is Java and what is JavaScript. Let me tell you guys that there's a huge, huge, huge difference between Java and JavaScript, right? They might sound really similar, but there's a, there's a huge difference, okay? And I, I can actually make a separate video on that if you guys really want me to do so. You can just comment down in the below in the comment section if you want me to uh, uh, differentiate between Java and JavaScript because the entire purpose of both these languages is quite very, very, very different. Now, when we talk about JavaScript, it's a very handy language. It's kind of very easy to learn and uh, it does a lot of work when it comes to website. Like, for example, if you scroll in any, uh, I would say, a very highly invested website, then you would see that uh, there are motions in a website right when you scroll down there is some sort of motions like some sort of pop-up coming up or some sort of animation that is being played on a web page now how is that done now HTML and CSS alone cannot do all of these animations now there comes the role of JavaScript right 
Now, what exactly is a backend development? Now, the backend is also called as a server side, and there's a very great reason for that. Backend development generally deals with server and uh, storage of the data and organization of the data in a very good manner. If you go on my website right now, and if you just if you read any sort of post on that platform and you actually liked it, thought of commenting on that particular post. Now, when you actually reached on my website and read what I written over there, then you actually interacted with the front end part of my website. Now, when you actually commented on, on that particular post, that particular comment is basically stored in the database which is managed by the my hosting services which uh, uh, from where I have purchased the website domain and hosting these those engineers are actually taking a great care that my data with my website is highly secured it should not really get lost because whenever is suppose if you today if you comment then after 10 days it's just the comment is not going to get erased on its own right so how is that thing managed right that is a job of a back-end engineer or back-end developer to store the data in a very good manner right so that even after a year when you come up to look at that particular comment it should be there right so this is how it really works the back-end technology and there are different kind of databases which are actually associated with back-end development I would say that front-end development is kind of a more creative side and because it, it deals with user interface and user experience and the back-end development is something which is more and more technical kind of stuff and it is kind of a bit more difficult in order to understand because integrating the front-end and back-end development is definitely not an easy task for that we have full stack developers now now this brings us to our next point of discussion now who are full stack developers right now look it can be understood in a very easy way like someone can be a fully functional front end developer and the other one can be a fully functional back end developer and then when you combine both of these technologies because these technologies actually work hand in hand then you, you can be termed as a full stack developer. Now, full stack developer is someone who uh, manages both of these kind of technologies at one piece, kind of a creative and intelligent at the same time. This is what the full stack development is. Now, there are lots and lots of frameworks all which are actually associated with the front end as well as the back end development. Now, it, it, this uh, discussing about different type of uh, framework, which would actually require me to make separate video on that particular topic. So if you guys really want me to uh, make a separate video on uh, the different kind of frameworks which are used specifically for front-end back-end and full-stack development Then you can just comment down below now There's a huge discussion which is going to be in my discord community where we discuss a lot about books podcast and entrepreneurship So if you guys haven't really joined my discord com server or discord community till today Then you're actually missing out a lot of different values from your life and whatever the values that I get personally on uh, from my end I just take up the link or catch up the link and I just share it on my discord community so that you guys should not miss any sort of value that I am getting in my life right so if you haven't really joined the community just go ahead join it the link would be somewhere in the description if you like this video then do not forget to give a huge 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 thumbs up to this video and do subscribe if you haven't already and share it with your friends so as they can also understand what is the confusion and what is the hype is all about thank you so much for listening to this video